there's a lot of stuff to get to in the NBA. Um, and Goody I, mellow. I mean, yeah, there's mellow stuff, but I think first, even before that, we have to talk about some more Trump stuff. He's back. He is back. Um, Stephen Curry. Yeah. And uh, basically, I didn't know Steph he, had it in him. I yeah. Was, I thought he was too light skinned I didn't know he'd come at Trump like that. Yeah, and uh, he basically he basically shunned Trump and didn't go to the White House, yeah, and then uh, and then Trump uh, basically getting a little sweaty and nervous from someone hesitating on his offer, like rescinded the offer, right. and then uh, maybe his most likable moment of his career, LeBron James tweeted back at Trump. That was cool. And uh, you, you bum. I think that was probably his most universally liked moment of his career, actually. Right. I, uh, I think everyone was uh, pretty stoked to see that. But uh, what do you think, Russell, of this of the whole fiasco with Trump and the tweets in the basketball arena? <laughs> I think after what... After all this has been able to accomplish with his, his Twitter account... And all the the missteps that he had to come at the arguably one of the most popular NBA players in the last ten years, Steph Curry, who is not, you know, gonna come at any type of way, type guy, and to make him seem like a bad guy when he did he just said, "I'm just not go." Um, and then to have the come back at him, I don't think the president really knew the power that Steph Curry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Steph Curry is a wide base man, like of all just kind of different fans. On and that's the thing, like Steph Curry is such a big uh, fan base across like all political spectrums because he's like a Christian and everything. Yeah, yeah. he has Bible verses on his shirts. So I bet for a lot of his fans, that was probably like a weird moment because I guarantee there are a lot of Trump supporters that love Steph Curry. If you come, if you go to my hometown, you, that's like a lot of people's favorite basketball player in the Bible Belt is Steph Curry. So I, was, I bet that was weird for them for him for him to call out their presidential candidate. It's probably real conflicting. So. Mm. I feel like we already know where LeBron stands politically. Like I mean, he had a whole Hillary Clinton event, so he already we know he doesn't. But Steph Curry wasn't really vocal at all during the election cycle or anything like that. I, I mean, I think the first time he ever said something about Trump was when the, the Under Armour CEO donated money, like, after he won or something like that. Yeah. And I think Steph said something, like, something then, but wasn't really like a... Do you see a transition, Russell? Because uh, famously, Michael Jordan once said, Republicans buy sneakers, too. <laughs> <laughs> and so, do you think there's going to be a change to more of like the Jim Brown type of athlete, where or maybe Arthur Ashe, where like the activism is kind of built into the cake of of whatever else is in there? To me, that's why a lot closer to being the greatest basketball player of all time. Yeah. Then people like to give him credit because if you look at the entire spectrum, both on and off the court. There's not a better act to represent the game of basketball than LeBron. He's sitting a thousand I'm kids sorry. in college. That that's been very impressive. Jordan Jordan would never do something. <laughs> I guarantee you, Jordan could send the whole state of North Carolina to college and he wouldn't do it. I guarantee you, he's just not that guy. Not, I wouldn't call him a jerk or I wouldn't call him a hole. But this is not him. He just doesn't care. I mean, to be fair, I think he would send a thousand kids to go to college if they learned to be like card counters at like one of those oh. casinos. You know, he would because he hey, loves. No, my, 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 my. Yeah, he loves his gambling. You know, I really want. To, that's like one of my things. I want to get rich so I can gamble with Michael Jordan. I hear, <laughs> I, hear I hear it's crazy. Like I hear he's just. He's the man when it comes to gambling. But he'll talk shit on you. He'll like he'll somehow find someone to he'll pay someone to like find out all the dirt on you. And he'll be like, remember that girl in fourth grade? No, you know. And he'll he'll find he he is competitive. He I will, Jordan should do roast battle. <laughs>